Hello everyone, my name is Gregor Weiss, I'm a professor of finance here at Leipzig University and welcome to this class in artificial intelligence and machine learning in finance. In this video we want to continue our example of the application of classifiers in a financial setting and we are going to use now support vector machines to achieve the same results, almost the same results as the k-nearest neighbor classifier in the context of predicting customer churn. So we will fit a linear SVM as well as a support vector machine with a radial basis function kernel to the training data on customer churn in the credit card data sample. We're going to predict the labels for the test data that is contract termination, no termination, for the linear support vector machine, that is without a kernel or actually the linear kernel, we determine the most appropriate value for the hyperparameter C, which is also known as cost, out of the set or grid uh, 2, taking to the power of minus 5, to the power of minus 4, and so on and so on. Again, as we've seen in the last video for the k-nearest neighbor model, this can be done in parallel to speed up computation and time. You don't need to do this, but this is a good exercise to practice parallel computing in R. The support vector machine with the radial basis function kernel has two hyperparameters, sigma and c. And we do not provide a set of possible values, but we simply let the caret package in R try out 10 reasonable parameter combination and it chooses the combination itself. So this is tune length, um, the parameter tune length in the syntax of R and the caret package. So we start with the hyperparameter tuning with the linear support vector machine or the support vector classifier. We set seat in line one to be able to replicate the results later on. We again use train control as um, an option later on in the train command in line 8. In line 2 we write down train control with cross-validation as the method and five-fold cross-validation in the object tr control. Uh, we set the grid um, as we described it on the previous slide and then we use six clusters using um, the um, PSOC um, cluster in R. Then SVM linear is our object and we train um, the support vector machine using, using X train scale, the scale data, uh, Y train for the response. And as a method, we set SVM linear and then um, this is uh, the result and we stop cluster. Um, we print out the results and uh, you can see the resampling results across the tuning parameters with different parameters for C and then accuracy and kappa. We've seen that in the last video. And the accuracy was used to select the optimal model and it was optimal for a hyperparameter C equal to 0.03125. So in this case, choosing C with regard to accuracy leads to a different value than choosing it with regard to Cohen's kappa. Um, but we uh, said that we want to use in this case um, the uh, accuracy and it's the standard uh, and default setting in uh, the caret package. Um, we can do the same with the radial basis function kernel. Again, set seed, initialize the um, parallel computing cluster, and then SVM radial is the option we need to set the method to, and the tune length is 10. We stop the cluster and get results for the second support vector machine. Again, you get the resampling results from cross-validation and you see the tuning parameter sigma was held constant at a value of 0.05. Accuracy was again used to select the optimal model and the final values were, uh, final values were uh, sigma equal to 0.05 and c equal to 8. So this is what um, get, um, comes out of the training um, model. We predict the classes um, for the test scale, X test scale data. And we do this both for the linear classifier and the radial basis support vector machine. And then we also print the confusion matrix uh, for comparing our predictions with the Y test data sample as the reference. So both for the linear support vector machine and the radial basis function um, kernel. 
This is the linear support vector machine. Again, you can see from this very simple matrix, 186, 1679, looks almost the same as for the K nearest neighbor. Let's compare this. Let's go back some slides and you see 189, 1672. Actually, it's almost the same. Yeah, almost the same accuracy, 90.27% and the um, additional uh, metrics here in the confusion matrix. Um, for the radial basis function, you can see it is slightly better for existing customers, one observation, but it's hugely better for attracted customers. So as you can see also in the accuracy, it increases by almost 3% uh, in contrast to the linear SVM. So the radial basis function kernel support vector machine actually does a much better job than the two competing models. So the predictive performance of the linear SVM is very similar to the K nearest neighbor classifier in terms of accuracy, kappa, sensitivity. Um, the support vector machine with the nonlinear radial basis function kernel improves on this, um, shifting the accuracy to almost 94% and increasing kappa to 0.7647. So this substantial increase is mainly due to an improvement in predicting attriting customers. We've seen this. So the sensitivity is uh, actually higher in this case um, and almost 20% higher uh, in comparison to the linear support vector machine. So yes, using a nonlinear model here makes sense and it uh, allows us to increase the sensitivity and in result, the accuracy of our forecasting. So this is the example for classification. And in the next subsection, we want to look at regression trees.